You know, when people say, hey, what about the blue zone diets? What about the Mediterranean diet? People have been doing that. Those aren't fad diets. Yeah. And you fully agree that they're they're pretty good diets. They're better diets. But you're saying it's not it's not the best, especially with this level of toxins in the world and stuff to give us the best chance of a no health problem life of right. a long health. We life. know exactly what those diets give people. Right. Because we have a lot of studies on those. Yeah. And they give people between six to eight years of extended lifespan, which is great. Yeah, better. Less, yeah, really great to yeah. get six to eight years of extended life and better life. But not compared to a vegetarian diet, which adds, you know, 15 to 25 years of extended lifespan. Right. So it's like, the, you know, we, okay, let's look at a Mediterranean diet. What's right about it? It's giving a little bit of extra lifespan. And what's wrong about it? And by the way, it's not the whole Mediterranean diet. It's just in certain areas of the Mediterranean where they're eating more carefully, which, you know. But in any case, um, you know, we wouldn't say, well, white pasta is in the American diet, so does that make white pasta good food? It's the same thing with saying, you know, cut out nuts and seeds. Just because they ate white pasta and they're doing better than ever, that means we're supposed to eat white pasta. So we have to look at this. And we also know that um, more than ever before, um, body fat dramatically shortens lifespan. So women should be below 25% body fat and men should be below 15% body fat. Once you go over 25 or 15% for a male and 25% for a woman, you see estrogen rise, inflammation rise, angiogenesis promotion rise, cancers rise, sport, you know, we age much faster. Cool. And, and so I'm not saying... Um, Wait, I said cool. I didn't, I didn't mean it that way. I'm just saying like that's an interesting number to think about. Yeah. The number that, yeah, I just to clarify because right. it's, it's not. So, cool. so calories matter and oil matters because it's a source of calories and fat matters. And keep in mind, I'm going to make this very clear. A nutritarian diet gets its fat from nuts and seeds and avocados and the conventional way of eating gets their fat from animal fats and oils. So I'm not saying we should get our fats from animal products and oils. When we get our fats from these whole foods, they get absorbed much more slowly and they don't, they're, not really, they're not anywhere near as fattening as getting fats from animal fats and oils. So mm -hmm. we still have to watch oil, but a little bit of olive oil is still better than a diet that's low below 10% of calories and fat because it's too low in fat. You're better off having a little bit of olive oil than having no fat. Can the you low in I mean? fat diets like hurt your brain? Because that's where I go. Yeah. But particularly Makes when sense. people have a low omega-3 index and they're eating a low fat diet too. And that, but that combination can be particularly harmful. But people will deny that, you know, and they'll just ignore. And so I, I was listening to Dad, this. they'll say anything. They'll say anything and give people <laughs> wrong information. I was listening some, I got an email, came into my email, right? And it was blasted in from the truth about health, right? And this person was asked the question to this panel of vegan authorities. And so the... The person asked the question, my omega-3 index was one. Do I have to be concerned and what should I do? And what do you think the panel, what these two doctors said, said to this person? No. They said not to worry about it. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't say to them, well, we don't really know for sure, but there are, you know, 15 studies showing low levels associated with brain shrinkage and dementia. <laughs> 15 studies. I'm laughing because you know, that's so sad. You know, why did they tell them about the 15 studies? Right. It's like, yeah. it's like doctors, yeah. I guess people in general have this ego and they wanted to act like the confident person in the room with the answer. But sometimes yeah. it's it's okay to say like, I, I think that's what's so smart about some of the conversations that we have. You tell me the pros, you tell me the cons, and I weigh it for myself and take a course of action mm -hmm. that I'm confident in. And that's what I respect so much about you as a doctor, mm -hmm. friend and father. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but seriously, it's it's good to give people the, the education. You know, the, why did the, this doctor who was speaking, they were aware of these studies, I think, but there's so much bias that they didn't want to make a vegan diet look not perfect. So instead the confirmation of, bias is very real. Yeah, they, it, they might not even be know, knowing they're doing it. Oh, I think so. But, you know, it's funny because they could have said, but they said, oh, we don't even know if the level in the blood is related to the level in the brain, or whatever it is. So don't worry about it. And vegans don't have more dementia anyway. You know, the whole thing, all those answers are, are irrational. They're mm -hmm. irrational. Right. Because you know? it is a concern. You say that. That's probably a concern because of the vegan diet. vegans don't have more than, than SAD eaters. Well, that's not anything good because the SAD eater has a load of dementia. Because so right. just comparing yourself, we don't compare by a car by comparing it to a junkyard wreck. I mean, just because vegans don't have more dementia than non-vegans doesn't doesn't justify any of us getting to dementia. It's like, that's okay. Not, that's one argument. The other argument is, anyway, we can go into it. But the, the, I know, we could talk about it We could it talk forever. about it forever. <laughs> we have to talk about it in the past. But it was frustrating yeah. because it just screwed this person by letting him get dementia or get a serious risk of disease and, and to, to cre increase his risk of early mortality just because of their um, confirmation bias. Because mm -hmm. we know vegan diets are low in B12, zinc, DHA, 
K2 and, and possibly iodine and vitamin D as well. There are, the vegan diet has some defects in it that if not conservatively supplemented, a person may be increasing their I, their ideal lifespan. Right. It's still it's, better than an yeah. American diet. I, How can you put it a vegan diet? The person's living longer. Yeah. They have less dementia. They have less heart attacks, less stroke. They have normal lifespan. Yeah, but I'm not talking about less stroke. I'm talking about maximizing their human potential so they don't have heart attacks, strokes, or dementia, and they live as long as possible. So just because they're doing better than an American eating a really terrible diet doesn't mean it's good.